Hello, I'm Extra Life. This is the Super 16. This is my open source, open hardware control voltage sequencer module for Eurorack. It is on Kickstarter right now at this very instant. So click the link down in the description and go get more information on that. And today I'm going to show you the fundamentals of the user interface and how to program a sequence on the Super 16. So here is the front panel close up and there's a lot of buttons and knobs. It looks more complicated than it is. It's actually very simple in operation. So these 16 black buttons and their LEDs represent the rhythm pattern of the sequence. And we can program in a pattern by just pressing the buttons, of course. If we want to remove a note, we just double tap any of the buttons. And you can see that one of the LEDs is blinking, and that means this step is selected. So if we select another step, we can use the four knobs on the right to adjust all of its parameters. And those are pitch and octave, which together control the pitch output length, which controls the duration of the gate output, and CV here, which controls the linear control voltage output. So if we press play, we can hear how this rhythm sounds. And start making some changes to it, like changing the pitch of this second note. And you'll notice that the pitch knob goes from minus 12 to 12. And if we want to adjust that further, we just change the octave parameter up and down in one increment. So this jumps up the pitch of that step by 12 notes, or 24, or 36. And we can change the gate duration for any of these steps by adjusting the length knob. And this goes from zero for a very short step, which is basically off, up to 400, which is four notes long. This is a percent of the current step length. For each note, we can also toggle on a glide or slide, which ramps up or down to the pitch of that note over its duration. This is all great, but it's not exactly real time because we're changing things and then waiting for them to happen. If we want to record in notes in real time, all we do is press the record button and then turn the knob that we want to record in. As soon as we let go, we start looping the pattern that we've recorded in and we can record any of these four values. Gate is really fun, or length is really fun to play with because it's very expressive in real time. And that's it, that's the basics of programming. But of course, that's only 16 steps. To make longer sequences, what we can do is adjust the steps parameter, which controls the total number of steps. We press shift, which is a secondary function. And then we can use the data parameter to adjust the number of steps in the sequence. If we press shift, we go back to the main screen. And then we can access those additional steps by using the bars buttons here, which are the first four step buttons. So we press shift and two. You can see the display says B2 for bar two. And now we can program in a pattern on the second bar. Go back to bar one, we press shift one. And you can see the blinking light indicates which step is being played. And if none of them are blinking, it's playing on another bar. To make it even more expressive, we can take advantage of the second CV output, which we can think of kind of as velocity. And let's hook it up to, I've got it right now on braids on the wavetable. And let's record in some more control voltage data using the additional knob.
Now we're starting to get a sequence that actually sounds like a melody. If we want to extend this even further, we can take advantage of copy and paste to duplicate some of these bars and create a longer sequence. So if I want to copy bar 1 to bar 3, I press and hold shift, then I press 1 and then 3. You can see the screen flashes copy, so I can copy bar 2 to bar 4 in the same way. And then I can adjust the length parameter all the way up to 64 steps. And I can start making changes to bar 3. And now we have a sequence that repeats but also varies. This is starting to sound really good, so I'm going to take advantage of the clock output and add some drums that sync up and play in real time with the sequence. If we like the way the sequence sounds, we can press save, and then select a patch number to save the sequence to, so I'll save it to slot 5. And then whenever we like to, we can reload the sequence by pressing load, and then load again. If we want to load another sequence, we can load it up by choosing a different number. But saving it and then double tapping load is a quick way to record in new variations, and then see if we like them. If we're not satisfied with that, we simply double tap load, and we go back to the sequence we had before. So this lets us create mutations that repeat and develop, go back to what we saved, and then keep programming and create multiple copies of the sequence so we can have variations that loop and change over time. So there you go, that is programming sequence on the Super 16. It's quite simple. All you do is you use the buttons to program it in a rhythm and select steps, and then the knobs to dial in either in real time or programming the steps individually, the pitch, gate duration, and velocity. And there's lots more to the sequencer. Next time we'll talk a little bit about scale selection and swing timing, as well as all of the fun real time rhythm and pitch manipulation. Again, the sequencer is up on Kickstarter right now. You can click the link down in the description and become a backer today. I think there are still a couple of early backer spots if you want to get a discount. You can pre-order this module today and I would love to have your support. So click the link, check it out. Really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.